Animals of one species differ from animals of other species by their shape and history of evolution, that is, by the sequence of changes in their forms from their ancestors to their modern appearance. The shape of the animal's body is determined by the shape of the ancestor's body and the environment in which this animal developed climate, nutrition, and other factors. Some animals walk on two legs, others on four or more, and some on two or four, in different situations in different ways. For example, chimpanzees, when carrying cubs, hold them in one hand and move with the help of two legs and one arm, that is, they generally move on three limbs. Animals that move on two legs are called bipeds, those that walk on four are called quadrupeds. Humans are bipeds, although in childhood we move on four limbs. Cats are quadrupeds, but sometimes they can stand on their hind legs. There are animals that have more than four legs, for example, spiders have eight, centipedes have thirty. And animals such as fish and worms, in general, do fine without legs at all. Interesting fact, the difference between humans and other primates is that humans have a straight spine adapted for the vertical position of the body. It sounds corny, but an animal must move efficiently in order to survive. If it lives on the tops of trees, it must have strong arms, especially hands, to hang on the branches. If an animal is fit for a lion's dinner for its misfortune, then only tireless legs can save it. Each species has developed its own effective movement system or, in other words, strategy. Whether the animal moves on two legs or jumps on all four these are elements of such a strategy. Let's consider for example the walking of a person on two legs, this will help us understand what an effective walking strategy is. A human is a member of a large group of animals called primates. This group includes monkeys, baboons, gibbons, gorillas, and chimpanzees. Other primates, except humans, can't walk like us, you've probably seen it in the zoo. Most of them combine movement on four limbs with relative upright walking. Many people jump on trees, but at the same time use their hands. Most primates live in trees, but sometimes they have to descend to the ground, so they should be able to move both in trees and on the ground. For example, gibbons jump through trees from branch to branch, swinging on their long arms. The guarantee of their safety is very strong hands and a strong grip. But when a gibbon walks on a tree branch, it moves on two legs. When chimpanzees eat fruit on trees, they hang on a branch, clinging to it with their hands. Moving on the ground, chimpanzees use their legs and knuckles. Baboons run on the ground on all fours. Gorillas walk like chimpanzees. Such strategies are justified when living in tropical forests, where most primates live. Interesting fact, it sounds corny, but in order to survive, animals must move efficiently. Although man belongs to the order of primates, he is very different in structure from his relatives. The human spine is straight and adapted for standing and walking on two legs. The spine of a chimpanzee forms an angle with the femurs, such a structure is well suited for running on four limbs. A person's legs are longer than his arms and, for example, a gibbon's arms are longer than his legs. Our feet are adapted for walking long distances, and in monkeys, the feet are adapted for grabbing tree branches. Man has many common features with other representatives of the primate order, but of all the primates, only man can walk all the time on two legs. Scientists believe that the main factor that determined a person's upright posture was convenience when collecting food. In order to survive, our ancestors had to collect and eat food almost all day long. When they left the tropical forests of Africa and went out into the savanna, they found a new kind of food their small leaves, nuts, seeds and fruits. In order to collect a sufficient amount of this food for sustenance, it was necessary to free both hands for gathering. Walking on two legs for a long time is a great advantage. Those of our ancestors who were accidentally born with a straight spine had an advantage over those who were born with a bent spine. Straight walking gatherers could collect and therefore eat more food, so they were stronger than the rest and had an advantage when breeding, their children inherited a straight posture. Gradually, after the change of many generations, all people became straight walkers, which freed their hands for hunting, gathering and crafts.